All right, welcome back, guys. Uh, my name is Ivan from Brainy Bits. Uh, today we're going to yearn uh, to use one of these little remote IR remote controls, and we have a little IR receiver here on a little breadboard. Uh, it only uses three pins, so we got our negative pin, middle pin is voltage, and the last pin, as you can tell, S signal. So we're going to go ahead and plug that into our Uno here. Then we'll program the UNO with the uh, code designed for this little sensor. There's a library we're going to use, so it'll make the code writing very easy. And then we'll come back and test uh, the functions of this little remote. Uh, these little remotes are good if you want to control something at a distance. Like this one has direction keys, so you could go uh, forward, backward, left, right. You could turn on lights or enter codes. So these are very easy to use and uh, very versatile. So we'll go ahead and connect our little sensor here. So I'm going to use a breadboard. We're going to put it right there. I don't know if you can see. Let me turn the breadboard maybe a little bit this way. Okay, that's pretty good. So we're going to start with the ground pin, which is the last one right here. There we go. We're going to connect that to our ground on our Uno right there. So if you can see that, let me push this up a little bit. There we go. Then we're going to connect our voltage, 5 volts, so the middle pin to the 5 volt on the UNO. And last, our signal pin. And that's going to go to digital pin 11, since that's what we're going to use in our code. And there we go. That's all the connections we need right now. And we'll go ahead and switch to uh, the screen so I can show you the code, talk a little bit about it, how to install the library and such. And then we'll come back and we'll uh, test uh, the remote and do some codes and uh, we'll be able to monitor all this in our serial monitor. So we'll be right back. Okay, so welcome back. This is the, uh, we're in the Arduino IDE. This is the code uh, that we're going to use to uh, control our IR sensor. So we're including this uh, library here, which will help us write our code. Um, you can download that in the description on our website or if you're on YouTube you have a link in the description. Uh, so extract the library to your full uh, your library folder called IR remote right there and also drag out this robot IR remote that comes with the IDE software because it seems to interfere with our library that we're going to use so just drag it out of the folder and once you're done you can always drag it back. So once you've done that just restart the ID software and here we go. This is the inclusion of the library. Uh, the signal pin of our IR receiver is connected to pin 11. So there it is. We're declaring some variable objects here to uh, store some results and um, the IR receiver setup. So we're doing the serial begin to set up our serial monitor. We're putting a little title at the top of the window and we start to receive the information so we end our setup here and here's our loop now this checks if we have received an IR signal if we have received one then we call the function translate IR that we're going to see at the bottom here right there and then we get the next value after that so next value right there and we end our loop here and now we're going to write our function, which is called translate IR. Uh, this takes action based on the IR code received. Now we're describing the IR codes. This is all the codes that are available on the remote. So you have your forward, left, OK, right, the numbers, and uh, pound sign, and star also. So in case receiving this X, because it's an X number, we're going to serial print the value which is forward and break, break meaning get out of the function and case and a little delay before going back to the loop. So as you can see, we have all these X that correspond to whatever number. And at the end here, we have a case that's called FFFFFFF. So basically that what that means is that it means we're holding a key. So the last value that was received, if it receives a repeat after that, that means we're holding that key and we could do something with that. So that's it. So that's all the code. So we're going to compile. And while we're doing that, we're plugging in our Uno. So it, it will be ready to receive our code. 
So no errors, that's good. We're gonna upload the code now to our Uno. So it's compiling, we'll see the light on the Uno flash. There we go. I received the code and it's ready to go. So now we're gonna click our serial monitor up here and see what values we're getting. So I'm gonna use 9600, make sure that this is there. There we go, we're receiving our title. Now I'm gonna use the remote and send some codes. So I'm pressing up, left, right, down, and okay in the middle and doing all that. There we go, we see the little light flash on the IR receiver also at the same time. So there you go. So that's the way you use one of these little IR remotes. I uh, hope this helps you and hopefully you can find a way to integrate those inside your projects. Thank you very much. See you soon.